first shot of the day, you know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we back in here. Twenty dollar million dollar. Fucked up. The twenty million dollar podcast, the the number one podcast on the Izzard. And today we got a beautiful uh, interview today. Another banger. We have Main Visuals, the legendary. Usually yeah, behind yeah. the camera. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know? Do you ever post videos on, of yourself? Yeah, from from time to time. Okay. Not, not as much though. Um, if you if you don't know, you know we got a, we got a little woman's audience, so they okay. probably, they might not know what main videos. But don't you know that the nigga used to fuck with that was rapping? Like yeah, this, he shot he shot all the videos. Like. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Tell me that experience. What what made you start wanting to get into shooting videos? Um, so I probably started when I was like twelve for real. Mm-hmm. I always liked e- electronics and all that for real. So that's how I got into like cameras and everything because I always had all the new phones that came out, laptops and all that and. Mm-hmm. One day, I just had, uh, my family do music. That's how I started, for real. So okay. I just had got a camera, and then um, my brother, cousin, everybody do uh, music in the family. So uh, I shot one of their first videos. So that's how I started. That's how you started. Yeah. How did you, how, now, you're, you're, um, how did you start getting plugged into just all these random people? Were, were they random people to you? What, for when I first started off? Like, I'm, as far as, like, all the videos on your channel? Oh, everybody that I got? I mean, yeah. Do you know I them mean, personally? Yeah, now I do. <laughs> um, um, so most of them be kind of, like, random, but now it's kind of, like, the more that I work with them, mm-hmm. it's, like, comes, it's, it's like a, a family thing. So, like, I look at them as, like, family. Mm-hmm. Most of the people that I work with on a, a daily, for real. So I get to know them behind the music. Okay. So it's kind of, like... A family thing that way, but that's great. Do you, do you, has there ever been a, a video that you were shooting and like you were there doing the process of the, the making of the song? Uh, hold on, say it, say it again. Like, have was you, like you were there doing the process of the making of the song? Oh, other song, and then you then you then shot, I shot it, yeah, uh, multiple times. Um, yeah, it been multiple times, so it, it's I can't really count how many yeah. times that, but yeah, definitely, yeah, that I uh shot a video that a song was being made that I was there. Well, when did when did you start when did you start thinking like, oh man, I think I got something here. Like when did you start when did you start originally putting the music videos out and then start like get trying to get people to shoot music videos for us? That I don't know the process. Were you trying to get people to shoot music videos or people coming to you? Um what uh what you I don't what you mean by that like far as like like when you first started, like you didn't just have, you didn't have, did you already know? All oh, you said, oh, 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 like when I first started, okay. Um, when did you first start? What year? Uh, t- probably like 20, we were in 23, probably like, t- like around like 2010 or something like that. Damn. 20, yeah, something like that, around, around that time. And that's when you dropped your yeah. first music video? Yeah, it was on YouTube, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so when I first started off, when I shot my cousin video, I posted, uh, I posted his video on my YouTube page and my Instagram. That's when I was first trying to like gain clients and everything. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, it was kind of a little hard at first starting off. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. figured in, in Baltimore everybody be rapping, so you just be like shooting music film. But I guess it was like it's more so like people wasn't used to like I mean what paying for videos. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna say far as um, it's like, um, I mean yeah, it's price, price, price matters, mm-hmm. price matters. Cause um, I think when I was shooting too, it was I can't really remember who was doing. I can't really remember that. Name. I was only probably like one, one or two people that I heard of when I was shooting videos before I started. Mm-hmm. Bro, but um, I'm sorry. Do you want? Do you want to shout out something? Yeah, matter of probably. Yeah, let me loosen up. Yeah, yeah let me get a shout out. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm cool. Sorry, man. I ain't let me get a shout out. Yeah. Do you need a chaser? We got Arizona. Yeah, let me get uh, Arizona. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, we just, you just, you just pull one in the cup. You know, I, don't, I, got, I don't got that many Arizonas. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the questions. Um, kind of like, were you ever, were you ever a rapper? Um. <laughs> that's a creep. that's a funny question. Uh so I did do a song. Mm. I did do a song. Um I was playing around with for real, so it's it's out now, but I don't I don't really like doing a rapping. Mm. Uh, I just like being behind the camera. Yeah, you know you you get strong with you. Yeah, so it it was a time before like um 
that I always, when I used to shoot a video for like my family, mm-hmm. I, I always wanted to get in a video too. Uh-huh. So I was like shooting a video, then I'd be like trying to find somebody to, to hold the camera so I can get in a video too. But uh-huh. I learned that I couldn't do both. That's I couldn't hard. do both, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just behind the camera now. So yeah. Do you like it better like that? Well, behind the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah tell definitely. Me that yeah, experience, yeah. Really, yeah, really yeah. being a director, really being a director for these Baltimore niggas. Really, uh, that's the best way to say it. That's the right, best way. Right. To say it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's it's definitely it's different. It's like it's like it's definitely cool. Thank you. Thanks, Shadi. Let me get now. <laughs> you get it right. Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put this in there. Damn, nigga. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's different, man. It's like it's different. I can't explain. Like mm-hmm. it's different. It's a lot of talent here, though. Mm-hmm. But it's I don't. It's so hard for like them to make it. I don't know mm-hmm. what's the problem. Like I don't know. They, they I don't bother. It's bother mm-hmm. niggas. I, I mean, personally, I don't think bother niggas really understood the word marketing. Marketing. They just think it, yeah, got a video out and just tell niggas to listen to it. Like, but some I work with a lot of artists and some do do a lot of marketing, but it's still, it's still mm. don't get nowhere doing the marketing either though. And you see that, and you see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, tell, do do you ever give advice to the rappers after you give the after you give them the video? Like, yeah, maybe do it like this. I drop it this day. Do a couple. Of- yeah. Um. So, I learned like from being around um, my guy uh, A One Bing and everything, going to uh, interviews with him for his big meetings too. Um, I learned a lot from just going, just being around him for his with labels and everything. What you need, what you need to, for them to notice you and everything, and like uh, the take off and everything from around that. So it's like um, for his marketing and everything, you definitely got to put money behind your project whatever you dropping so you don't put no money like far as like uh instagram ads uh facebook uh definitely facebook uh what is it uh it's a, a music platform that is um i forgot the other platform but if you don't put no money behind your music i don't care if it's ten dollars they got it on instagram where you can do two dollars a day to get it uh sponsored everywhere so mm-hmm. if you don't do that then I, don't, I, I always tell them to do that, but and it's and it's sad because it's real talent here, and and the big corporations like Instagram, like they will purposely, like cut out cut out impressions and viewerships in half just so we can give them that money. Like, yeah. remember when Instagram first started? Like, yeah, it wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that. So okay, so more so talk to me about well your favorite your favorite experiences, like who are your favorite people to record with. My favorite people to record with? Yes. As far as like the vibe, you know, um, best people. I really don't have no favorite, like, far as like names, far as favorites to do it, like, uh, say that, but um, I like different stuff. Just not like just shooting just on a block. I like something that challenged me. So mm-hmm. it get, I, I like when people give me stuff that make me think, like, dang, that's going to be hard to do. Like, so I like taking on a challenge that's, that's like that for real. So. Um, that's the only thing like a storyline I like stuff with a storyline because it, it show my work more okay yeah so that's about it um talk to me about some of your stories have you ever been I know I me watching some of your videos these you you are on the block yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever had some <laughs> troubling experiences being out there um no nothing 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 happened um people be in tour with people but as far as like while I'm outside right there with them, mm-hmm. nothing, nothing never happened. Um, the the most probably happened was like somebody probably was shooting a video on somebody block, and then they was like, then they came right there like y'all can't shoot right here. <laughs> so that that was the that was the most uh, that went on. But nobody never came to me like person like saying like I couldn't shoot on the block. Okay, they just like went to the artist like like. Do you know anybody on this block? Like you from around here and like stuff like that. But yeah, that's about it. Nothing crazy. Okay, where, yeah. where did you get where did you get the name Main Visuals? Um, all right. So my name is Jermaine. Okay. So I just chopped the that off half Pretty and simple. just left Main and then Visual. I just 
because I shoot videos, so I just made the visuals. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I yeah, thought so I thought yeah. it was gonna be like some story. Like, yeah, this nigga. No, <laughs> no <laughs> it's pretty no, simple. No. Okay, I have to ask you about the myth, the legend, yeah. Lil Fay. Yeah, Lil Fay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you know? What about your What was your experience with her? Lil Fay, she different. It was it, it, it was funny. Uh, we shot at like we shot like. We shot multiple videos, probably like three or four or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I met her a while back. Um, I, I probably knew Lil Faye probably for about four, six years now. Probably five, six years, six years, something like that. Oh, wow. Probably a little longer than that, for real. Because mm-hmm. she probably was, uh, when I first started off too, kind of. Mm-hmm. She was one of the people that I was shooting with. Mm-hmm. Lil Faye, yep. How did, you, how did you run into her? Um... Instagram, mm-hmm. Instagram. Yeah. Any, any um, stories that you have with Lil Fay? With Lil Fay, um, you gotta have something. I'll be watching the videos. It gotta be something. <laughs> like she has to be funny or something. <coughs> no, um, no, it ain't no really no stories about it though. Mm-hmm. It ain't, it's just yeah. pretty simple. Like you met her, y'all was just working together. Okay, yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> She's the myth, the legend. Tell her, if you have talked to him, tell her I said she has. A, she needs to get her ass up here and give her an interview. All right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, you said you did videos for A One Beam. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, talk to me about was that your first really? Uh, I guess top, 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 um, higher tier rapper um on the list that you uh, did a video for. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, how did you get into that relationship? <clears throat> talk about that. All right, so. Me and him met through, uh, you know, he used to shoot videos. I did not know that. Yeah, he used to shoot videos. Oh, hell no. And he uh, he used to make beats and all that. So he produced all like a lot of his stuff, too. Recently? Uh, he ain't do nothing recently. He oh, st- he, he fell back, to. but he used to, that's okay. where he came from, too, shooting videos, too. That's hard. Yeah, so um, mm-hmm. I met him through my homeboy, Tav. He do music, and they friends and everything. They close friends. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, when I did a Tev video, that's how I met uh, that's how I met Bing through them, mm-hmm. and I shot for Bing, and he edited his own stuff. He edited his own video. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, so when I first when I first started shooting all, shooting with him, he was at I just shoot it and get him get him the SD card, mm-hmm. and he edited his own stuff for us. So that's that's, that's how we met, and then after that, I just started shooting and editing editing some of his stuff, and then we'd be like going back and forth editing. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Um, talk to me. You talk to me about talk to me about your editing skills. I can you can see the progress from when you <coughs> first started until now. Like, tell me about that progress. Oh yeah. yeah. About so, that. Um, about how how has that been editing for you? I know right. It's a tough thing. Yeah. No, it's easy now. So when I first started, it was kind of it was kind of easy, but it was kind of hard to. I didn't know like certain little steps to make the process go faster. So mm-hmm. probably like when I first started, I probably took like three days or so to edit a video. So now it's like two hours to mm-hmm. edit a the edit a video. So mm-hmm. it's kinda it's 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 easy now because I know I know everything now. Like you so. know what you're looking for. You know how you Yeah, know. I know how it's gonna go. So <clears throat> so when I already listen to the song mm-hmm. and then when I shoot it, I already know how everything gonna be placed. I already know what every how the video gonna be when I get to yeah, the scene. Yeah, 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 so when I get home it just it's easy because I already got it mapped out how everything. So how long go. have you been? You said ten years. What shooting uh, videos? Shooting music videos, editing them. Yeah, uh, over ten years. Mm-hmm. But I had uh, I stopped. I stopped in the mid in the middle of it because just hanging outside wasn't focused. Mm-hmm. Didn't really know what I that I really wanted to do that for real. Talk so, talk yeah. to me more so about your personal life. Like, where did you grow up? Uh, High school did you go to? I grew up West Baltimore. Um, High school, I went to Douglas, Frederick where, Douglas. Where in West Baltimore? Uh, North Pulaski. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, right. All right. Yeah, so um, I grew up uh, around there. Um, I used to be running around. I used to be, I ain't going to say bad, but I, but I used to be reckless, kind of, so. But then I, I calmed down when I had kids. Mm-hmm. So. Um, How many kids you got now? I got three. Damn. Yeah, I got three. Yeah. Hey, we love yeah. to see black fathers. <laughs> On the Blase Show, we support black fathers. Yeah. I'm not a black father. I'm just bullshit. <laughs> I'm supporting. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I know. No, 
But um, I mean, other than that, it's cool. It was a uh, kind of rough growing up, but um, once I got focused, that's when I got into like uh, videos more. That's when I took it serious. Um, I started working the uh, university hospital around probably like 2020. I want to say that's when COVID came out. Mm. Uh, I want to say so when that came out, I quit. Oh wow! Because <clears throat> that's I was like, I ain't want to get COVID. So I'm like, that's when it first. That I'm like. COVID is going to be in the hospital more. It's like it's going to be serious in there. So I quit. That yeah, that's, that's, that's for real. I quit. And then uh, when I quit, it gave me the opportunity to take uh, videos full time. So I've been full time for like three years now. So, yeah. Talk to me about having having um, that as a career. Tell me about the, is it there, is there a mental toll? It's like. You said uh, mental tone. Mental toll, like oh, T me, T O oh. T O L L. I'm sorry, oh, my bottom will actually. Okay, uh, no, you good. You good. <laughs> uh, you saying as far as like uh, being full time with it? Yeah. I mean, uh, the make the the get through it. Only thing is it's just uh, sacrificing mm -hmm. certain stuff. Like you gotta give up certain things, spending certain. You can't just be spending. Just to be, just to be doing it because you never know when it slow down. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so um, I mean, other than that, it just falls like saving. Mm -hmm. Once you save and everything, then when you ain't got a video or anything, mm -hmm. you just make you gonna be good because you got stuff saved. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so talk. Okay, so now I know it's a, it's, it's 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 you probably do you ever think that you you inspire people to become filmmakers you know in Baltimore I and mean that's that's one question and then the follow-up <laughs> question is what are the steps that you would give those people that that's not in your, that want to get to like main visuals yeah what are your steps to connecting but answer the first one then. <laughs> all right so all right so this for the first one the first one I would say yeah I would say yeah I know I spy a lot of people but mm. they not gonna say it mm. so I'll be having a lot of people in my DM asking me questions about stuff but they don't never, they don't never say like, I aspired them for certain things. Yeah, they bottom just, on niggas, that's not yeah, enough vocabulary. Yeah, so they they don't they don't be saying it, but they be saying little things, but they never say that. So here, I never, I matter of fact, I probably had like one person mm -hmm. that that said, mm -hmm. but other than that, no, don't nobody here say it. Mm. Yeah, I um, believe you. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. I believe you. <laughs> so um. What was the uh, second? The second, the second question? question is for for those filmmakers that that was in your DMs asking you all them questions. What are some key steps like? Oh, how to get here, right? Like you you wanted to shoot videos and and then somehow you got here. What are the key steps that you took that maybe you, you can pass on to the to those oh, younger filmmakers? Um, for one, never give up. Mm -hmm. That's going. That's going to be one. Um, Investing yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, the the stuff that you see yourself not that you see yourself not doing still do it. Mm. Um, and the reason I say that because <clears throat> I was like thinking to myself a while ago, a long time ago, before I got where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as like I used to be like kinda like shy, not shy. As far as like I used to look at it like <clears throat> people gonna look at me being a groupie for following somebody with a camera. Okay. So it was kind of like, I had to get out of that shell. Mm. Uh, and, and the Baltimore environment can do that to you. Yeah, so it was kind of like, a lot of stuff people be looking at as like, you been a groupie or something like that. Mm. So it was like, I had to get out of that. So once I got out of looking at it like that and just put the business mindset on, mm. um, that's, that's when I got further. Okay. Yeah, so, because at first I probably wouldn't do like, uh, I do a video, but I wouldn't do like going to the club or nothing record nobody because okay. of that. Because okay. I thought about what well, other people would think. Yeah. Okay. So once I got out of that, you just everything else don't really matter. Fell in the place type thing. Yeah. Okay, that's so, good to hear. It's, yeah. it, it takes it takes motherfuckers be 50, 60 years old and they just realize that. Yeah. That at the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, if if somebody if somebody don't if somebody looks at you that way. 
and they don't see it as this nigga getting his money and right. this nigga got the vision, then that's that's like they the fucked up person. Yeah, that's honestly. that's what a uh, a lot of um, people not being successful with because they be thinking what the next person gonna think of them or mm-hmm. like look at them as, but I don't really care no more. So it's like yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Tell me about how were you in high school? What type of guy were you? Um, I'm a people person, so it's like, uh, I dropped out. I only did knife in uh high school, Shit. so yeah, uh, I only did knife. Um, it was cool. What year was this? <clears throat> um, man, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, damn. Um, Shit. can you hear me? I'm sorry. When was this? Uh, this is like, I don't want to give no wrong date. Um, this about. Damn, it was that long ago. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> minute ago, yeah. I don't got no date. I don't remember the date. Okay, well. Because I, I, I was done with school. I ain't, I ain't even graduated. <laughs> what, so made you, like, what made you What made you want to get out of school? Out of school? Yeah, what made you want to um, get out of it? I don't know. It just, I couldn't focus. I don't know what it was. It was just like too much going on in school. It mm-hmm. was like, I don't know. <laughs> now, okay. So, I mean, honestly, nigga, the way I think about it, I mean, I, I be thinking the same thing about, I be thinking the same way. I don't know how I finished school. Right, okay. I don't okay. know how I finished it. I be thinking the same thing. Um, but let's let's more so talk about how do you so I want to more so talk about your vision like what do you think of what do you think of what do you think this is going to turn into main visuals the YouTube channel um you said main visuals main visuals what main what do you think you, what are you going what do you think what are you trying to take it like oh what I'm trying right now is just the level? I'm saying like right now it's just a YouTube channel but I'm saying like where do you see it like where is this plan like I say my and my slogan is the 20 million dollar podcast you know right. what I mean where do you see it Cause it's a visual. What's the visual, nigga? Right, right, right. Um, so right now, a lot of people don't know. I'm working on getting a warehouse. So um, once I get the warehouse and everything, I'm gonna do uh, like a production company. Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm in the process of finding a building, and then finding a loyal to uh, a team that's loyal. To. Lo- so lo- yeah, loyal. loyal. Okay. Yeah. So once I find a team and everything. And that's more focused how I'm is <coughs> because I'm the type. If I if somebody called me three in the morning and I'm sleep and the money right, I'm coming. <laughs> so <laughs> me I, too, I, 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 I need a team that's gonna yeah. get up three in the morning, leave out and come and film. Mm-hmm. So once I find that, then that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to start a production company. Shit, yeah, I, that's the same thing I've been thinking about. I'm thinking about this. You see the bigger picture, yeah, you know what I mean? The bigger so, picture. Yeah, because I don't. Uh, I don't plan on shooting for a long time, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm trying. You don't, to want, you don't want to be the man behind the camera forever. Yeah. You want to be the man behind the whole movie. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what that's why I'm at with it. Okay. Yeah. Well, nigga, you see you see what I can do. So if I yeah, offer my services, yeah, hit me up. I'll be here. Yeah, definitely got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um. Tell me about tell me about some. Do you have any Do you have any um future plans or like what's going on? Like anything that you got dropping that <coughs> people know about? You say that I'm dropping. Like anything that you want the people to know about, like. I mean, I mean, uh, the warehouse. Oh yeah, the, the warehouse. What's the gonna warehouse. be the name of it? Uh, you know, like what's the what's the brand name? Something, something with my name, man. <laughs> man, so, yeah, <laughs> main productions or something. That's hard as hell. Yeah, so yeah, so that's. I would what, say, I mean, personally, I would say keep the same logo, keep the same shit, don't change, yeah. keep the same, keep the same branding. I mean, I don't know. You probably, you probably, I don't want to tell you what to do, but yeah. ever, ever, ever loot it kind of keep the same premise because i like the premise that you have now yeah yeah that's uh that's why i don't really i got two logos that i'm using but mm-hmm. i just mainly kind of use like my one logo for real because i don't want to uh change it up because every time i like i go somewhere or something and then they be like uh they probably saw my video somewhere and they they they, they, they describe my logo so i don't want to kind of switch it up I, I wouldn't switch it up yeah. i wouldn't change the name okay for real that makes sense yeah. Um, you says you have you say you have three kids. Is it okay to talk about how is how is the lifestyle of being a father with your yeah. career of you with a good career that you have? You know, um, I mean, my youngest daughter. Like, let me start off by saying. So my youngest daughter, 
she always say, Daddy, I want you to, I don't want you to have that job no more. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's kind of, it's kind it's it's kind I I like this better. She don't understand mm-hmm. right now because she young. But it's kind of better now because I get to control my schedule. Mm-hmm. So I don't know her reason why. I mean, I be outside all times of the night. So damn. So it's kind of like she probably be saying she don't want me to have this job because when I was working at the hospital, it was from seven in the morning to three. So mm-hmm. she'll see me more. But now it's kind of like she don't see me. She see me, but it's like twenty minutes here. Sometimes an hour here. Then it's sometimes they might do be like a whole day, but it be kind of like spaced out. Mm-hmm. So if it's like if I'm in the house, she see me. Then I'm like I gotta go to a video. So she be like, Daddy, you just like we just woke up or something like that. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. But um, I be having her most of the time, and then my other kids. I got twins. Damn. A boy and a girl. It's beautiful. Yeah, so um, they don't they don't live with me. I don't have them mm-hmm. uh, as much. Okay. So, um, I mean, other than that, it's all right. It's not rough or nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, they they calm me down, so it's kind of yeah. Like I can understand blessing. that. Mm-hmm. I can understand that. Tell me about some. Tell me about some of the perks. Like you already said, you get to create your own schedule. Yeah. Tell me about some of the perks of having this these the filmmaking being your career. Um, you said the perks. Uh, pros and cons. What are some of the pros? And what are some of the cons? Um, so I felt like the people that I met, um, the people that I met, was like doing a visual. I don't think I would have met them mm-hmm. if I wasn't shooting videos. The connections. Yeah, the connections. The connections that I got is 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 good, but it can be. Uh, and then on the other side of uh, shooting videos, it's like um, safety. Mm. For us, like um, you never know who don't like you or um, or anything. So it's like you still gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. So let's see. So I mean, all right. So you like you just said, being careful. Um, Another question that I have for you: Is there ever a time where like you shoot a video for one rapper and then you shoot a video for another rapper, and it's kind of like is it like ever a tension between these rappers? The and rappers. Like, it puts you into it? <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So, um, I shot a video for two cousins. I ain't gonna say that name, but two cousins. They was getting told. Mm. I shot a video for the cousin for one cousin mm. that did big numbers, and then. Later on down the line, I shot uh, another video for the other cousin that was going back and forth. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of, when it's like that, as far as like two artists that's like getting into it, toward, sometimes I don't know about it. Mm-hmm. But I only knew about that one, but like, I don't ask questions like far as like what the music. I ain't, that's, mm-hmm. that's not my, you're not, you're my not, job. Yeah, you're not I'm that not person. Here. You're not that person. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here for that. Whatever y'all got on, I, I, I still deal with both of y'all on a level like, both of y'all cool. I don't care what's going on. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mm-hmm. Just you feel me? Don't like we don't speak on nothing mm-hmm. about each other. Nothing uh, about that dad beef or nothing. So it's more like mm-hmm. it's dad beef. So it's like yeah. Now is there anybody that you see yourself? Is there anybody that you see yourself shooting like that you want to shoot for? Like you still got on your list? Like I want to shoot. I want to shoot this person. Uh, dirt. Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I see the OTF, nigga. You ain't yeah. slick. Yeah, dirt, 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 and probably, uh, yeah, dirt, dirt, and future, probably. Future. Oh, that yeah. future be hard. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Future be hard. It's coming, though. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. Well. Hell yeah. yeah. It's coming. Hell yeah. If you, if you, if, if, if I, if I meet him before you do, I'm yeah, yeah. telling him, like, yo, yeah, this definitely. your next music video person right here. Yeah, so For yeah, real. They, they probably one of the two. Like, I definitely would stamp you as, like, it's kind of giving. I don't, I don't, I, I hate to compare type brands, right, right. but like, like, don't you know, Lyrical Lemonade is kind of yeah. like you the Baltimore Lyrical Lemonade. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, what I feel yeah, like. Yeah. That's why I feel like you can take it and I yeah. feel like you can take it there. Appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Um, just the, uh, the, the, um, any, any, um, I have a segment that we play here. It's two questions, two answers. It's called, what do you want? Okay. The answer is, I mean, not the answer is, um, first question is what, what do you want from, it can be, what do you want from a woman? Right. Um, 
and what do you what and that's the first one and then what don't you want like what what, you, what are you not accepting from a woman from a woman yes from all a woman right, so, <laughs> all right what i want from a woman is loyal mm-hmm. you gotta be loyal uh what i don't want is disloyal mm. so i uh, do you, then uh, uh, so, I, so it, if it, your girl it, go to the club, your girl can go to the club. Right. You said, can she go to the club? Can she go to the club? Yeah, she can go to the club. All right. All right. That's, <laughs> yeah. all, that's yeah, all, all it really comes down to when a girl, when you say that to yeah, a girl. Yeah, she, she can go to the club because it don't matter where she go at. Long as she don't, as long as she don't do nothing, she ain't supposed to be doing so. I don't care where she go at, just as mm-hmm. long as she hold it down. So. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Any ladies... Are you single? No. Oh, never mind. Then. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, leave my man's alone. We we shooting videos. If you not, if you not, if one of you girls not buying a video for my man's, get, get yeah. the fuck on. <laughs> um, is there anything you want to say to the people? Anything? Um, yeah. Uh, just don't give up. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just uh, whatever you doing, just make sure if you gonna do it, you, you go all the way through with it. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, thank you for coming to the network, the Blasey Network. You always have a spot here if you ever need to get anything out, anything, just let me know. Um, hopefully, we can, we can do the part two to this. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to come a little fake. Come a little, <coughs> a little, little fake. Little fake. <laughs> yeah, bring a little fake. I got some questions for you. Yeah. <laughs> so the next time we set it up, Lil Faye coming with me. I'm bringing yes. Lil Faye with me. Yeah. Yes, see what she up to. I need to get. I don't even like. She used to get an Instagram deleted and shit, right? She still got it deleted. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't found it. Like I haven't found it. But we'll. But that's pretty it. Thank you for everybody tuning. This has been Main Visuals at Blase Network, and we will see you next time.